it is written. Hey guys, so today I want to show you how I fill in my brows. It took me a long time to get my brows down. I do have a brow routine I uploaded, I think, last fall. And that's not how I do my brows anymore. I've switched it up. So first, I'll show you how I groom them. We'll tell you because I've already done it. I first use the Sony Kashuk spoolie. This thing is awesome. I think it's around $5 at Target. I use this to brush through the brows after I fill them in and before. Then to fill them in, I use this little angled eyeliner brush. This came in a kit from Sephora a few years ago, but you can find these anywhere. Sigma has an awesome one. And then to fill them in, I know I've mentioned it before, I use MAC's Dip Down Fluid Line. My eyebrows are really dark, you'll see, and they're pretty full. I just have to trim them down. So I can get away with wearing this every single day. I can make it look dramatic, or I can make it look more natural. This is kind of in the middle of natural and dramatic. This is usually how I do it when I do a full face of makeup. So let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. I'll see you guys in a second. So here are my brows without anything on them. I usually go through first. I've already groomed them, so I just take a, the spoolie and brush them up in the front and then the way they grow back here. I'm trying to grow out the tail a little bit, so any sparse little hairs right here I'm letting grow. I usually try not to tweeze any excess hairs until after I fill them in so I can keep them in the shape that I want them. So I'm going to take the dip down fluid line from MAC and you can see there's little like holes everywhere. What I do is I dip it in the product. I don't swipe if you swipe, you're going to get super, super pigmentation, and it's going to be way too much, so I just dip it in the product. So I start at the end of my brow, because that's where I want the most product, and then I move forward. So just going on the brow, I go on the bottom, following the bottom line of my eyebrows, and then I take it down to make the tail. Just like that. So then I dip into the product again, and do the same thing on the top. Just like that. Then I use the excess to fill it in. And this is a lot more product than I would usually use, but I want you guys to see the shape. Then I go along the bottom again, not dipping in the product. I'm just keeping with the product I already have. And I go all the way to right here to the front of the brow. And then do the same thing on the top. Just like that. Take a little bit more product. I always start from the back and blend forward, and then I'm just filling it in. Then for the front part, I usually start at the bottom and just lightly fill in the front. Sometimes I get them to look better than other days, but this isn't exactly the way I want them, so I'm going to take a concealer. I'm going to take the MAC Studio Finish Concealer and a little concealer brush just to shape them a little bit it's not exactly how I want them. Then I am going to take the spoolie, I just kind of wiggle it through to blend it a little bit. And I find I don't need a brow gel when I use dip down because it sets the eyebrows. Then I take the front ones and move them to the forward a little bit to create more of an ombre effect. And then that brow is done. like that and start filling them in with the excess. You can see I messed up right there but we can fix that with concealer. So 
So now I'm going to go back to the concealer and shape it a little bit. You can also shape your eyebrows with a concealer before you fill them in if you need a little bit more guidance. Then I'm going back to the spoolie, brushing through, pulling these forward, and there you go.